if a dump woman could serve me better, then I'd rather marry ten dump wives. That's right. Calm down, my prince. Ah, so that we can avoid the dangers of cause fire. Who we'll kill ourselves and leave the enemies? I never asked any of you to help me in the issue concerning my marriage. Or am I crying out to you now? Enough! Enough of that! Honestly, I say. Anyway, I am hopeful that tomorrow's visit will be on your favor. My son, I am solidly behind you. Look, we are all in this together. So let us not only enjoy the dance, but also take advantage of the chance. You have every reason to follow your heart, as much as it does not lead you to a destructive regret. I am making this decision in regards to the perpetual prejudice that has enveloped me in my household and the time immemorial, my royal status notwithstanding. I understand you, my son. Please be careful. Okay? Hey, way. Hey, you you woman. Hey, you woman. Hey, you it didn't want to go on, ma. Ashim can't get no, 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 Gods of it is an answer. Gods of our ancestors, we invite your presence in this hour. The widow does not go to market, so she depends on hearsays in regards to marketing events. If you know well or do do, she and actually yai So gracious gods, who see all things, including tomorrow? We ask that you come to our aid and resolve the matter between our children. The chest cannot be at loggerheads with the breast. Salt and red oil do not fight each other. Stretch forth your hands. Stretch forth your hands. And separate these two in one person in such an amicable manner that the lead will once again 
match the container. Urenna, why did you attack your husband, knowing that the gods of Etitinansa forbids you? Noble elders of the jury, my parents, and the good people of Etitinansa, it is never in my character to stand in fury against my husband. But my husband has denied me my regulations as his wife. The other day, I went to beg him to resume inviting me to sleep with him because he has not touched me for over three years now. I got him some food to smoothen the ground to enable me make my request. But my husband turned me down and asked me to take the food back. And when I raised an alarm of lamentation, he attacked me. Who witnessed the episode? His dumb wife was there. She could not hold him. What was your relationship with the dumb wife since her arrival? She has been a good woman to me. She always runs errands for me. She smiles with me. She has been a good woman. Are you sure you are telling us the truth? Yes. You can confirm from her. But she is dumb. Then you should depend on my word. What if your words are undependable? Then let the girl strike me dead. Honestly, will you tell this jury why you decided to batter your wife? Knowing that the gods forbid a dog from eating the bone hung around its neck? My elders, I respect your wisdom. You all know that I may lions come, and a snake does not beget a shut thing. Neither do a lion eat grass. You have not answered a question. Urena declined sleeping with me. And I was forced to marry a woman who is pregnant for me now. She brought some fruit and requested to resume sleeping on my bed again which I told her to go and do the requirements based on her custom. She screamed and abandoned the fruit for me. Are you still going to take her back as your wife? Urena is my wife. She's still my wife and will always be my wife. Urenna, are you still interested in this marriage? Yes, provided he accepts my daughters as his legitimate children, as if they were sons. Urenna, not even ten daughters. They would not. Members of the jury, this is the unseen cross of the quarrel. She demanded I take them as my daughter, do as my sons. Before he married a second wife, did you, Urena, stop sleeping with him? Or did you go and he did not let you in? He never refused to allow me in. Neither did he invite me. And there's no way I can force myself on him. Onosulueze, did you invite her and she refused? Or did you just get fed up because of the two daughters and stopped inviting her? She never asked to come and I said no. Though she did not ask and I refused. Who will attest to your honesty that you have told us nothing but the whole truth? If I had lied to you, 
let the gods strike me dead. We thank both of you. Now we will need to gather facts in preparation for judgment. I ask that you all disembark for recess and we will reassemble you when we are through. Why do you agree to talk to him in marriage? No, tell me, what did you do? I, I reject him. I answered your mind, Mama. I know nothing will make you severe in lordship with the royal family. If I had demanded for separation, would you have accepted Kolanon from another man on my behalf? If divorced, you have a point too. You have a point. Hey, but why did you refer to that uh, 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 dumb girl that she's a good wife? Eh? Considering from everything, she seems to be a good woman. How do you read her mind to know whether she's good or bad? <laughs> Since she cannot talk. Her composure and countenance speaks for her. Composure. Oh, if you say so. My daughter. Papa. Remain of good cheers. You will come out victorious. Sir. You are my daughter. Thank you, Father. We thank you all for your patience. Throughout the time we were deliberating on the matter to administer a just judgment. The evidence before us shows that the pot on fire is full with water at the boiling point trying to blow off the lead. Since Prince Onusuleze and Urenna agree to continue their marriage. The rest is a matter of mutual movement. Urena's actions are motivated by the desire to return to her man. I commend her courage. Urena, taste the fruits that you served your husband that day. This will prove that it was not poison. My ancestors, this is the time I need you the most. Please come to my aid. If I ever poison this food before serving it to my husband, let me die. If not, reward me with the gift of a son and long life. I salute your wisdom. No man caught in a similar threat of extrication will not take a new wife. But take back your wife, Urena, after she survives the period of oath. Reinstall her rights to sleep over with you whenever appropriate. And what of the marital rights that comes with such a reunion? Have you overruled them? If she survives the oath, she will bring a white cock, choice dish, and palm wine 
to wash the face of her husband. For some weeks now, no one has set eyes on Omar Lindsay. What do you expect? He knows that Urena and her husband have not settled their scores. So, his absence has sent abysmal ripples of panic in the community. <sighs> My dear, whenever he goes missing with those his cohorts, hyper alertness and security consciousness will be the thing in the minds of every indigenous in this community. <sighs> Men, men and their heartlessness. But it is very, very unfair for him to leave her now. It's unfair now. What side are you? Eh? Wait, oh. When did his relationship become a good topic of discussion? Don't even say that. Because Look, let me tell you. His presence in this community only adds salt to injury in the royal household. So, ha, please, oh. But. Whatever happens, we just need to pray that um, all Malaysia, which is outlandish miscreants, do not invade the community with massacre. That should be our prayer. My dear, I pray so. I pray so. Because that royal household has become a war zone. A place that the whole community is supposed to be emulating from. Look at what it has become now. I just pray so. He should not even come back again. Ah. Eh? Your Majesty. I thought you said you have everything planned. What is keeping? Oh yes, I'm I'm surprised, Your Majesty. Because she told me she will walk through this path to meet you. Uh, I don't know. Surprised she's not here yet. But to have a girl of her class. To make the king wedding is disrespectful to it the royal. Is, it is disrespectful, Your Majesty. But maybe we just try to have a little patience. She promised that um, she was going to walk through this path to meet you. And I don't know. Oh, there she comes. <laughs> I told you. Greetings, <laughs> Your Majesty. Greetings, Naya Oh, it's good to meet you. I am sorry I kept you waiting. I wanted to make sure I'm not being followed. <laughs> That's a good idea. I would think, yes. Very important, Your Majesty. I think I need to give you a little time so that um, you guys will have a private time together. Edoga. Okay. Good close. I'm Obi. I'm Your Majesty. Your Majesty, you called me. Yes, sir. We are supposed to be the guard on duty today with the primary assignment of following the king. You are right, Your Majesty. So, why is the king? Because he's not in the throne room and he's neither in his room. Your Majesty, I don't know where the king went. He left with Itie Edoga and ordered me not to follow him. Really? Something is behind us. Well, you can go back to your duty post. Okay, Your Majesty. Ibrani Bweze, you are always starting something. But Lolo Ikodia 
is always a step ahead of you. Always a step ahead of you. How far have you gone with the arrangement? We need to be fast. I'm ready now. We have to wait till the end of the restrictions imposed by the oath. Actually, the food was not poisoned. So I am sure to survive it. After which I will be readmitted into my position, legally with my husband. So what are we going to do now? We have to wait for some weeks. If not, this mission shouldn't have been delayed at all. Okay, I, I'll be leaving now. I'll see you. Okay. All I am asking is for you to give me a male child. Not only will I make you the queen, I will make the child an heir to my throne. Your Majesty, what happens to Prince Ono Salese? is in the capacity of the king to decide who reign after him. I promise you, I will make you the queen and the son which you will bear for me will be my successor. Your Majesty, I am afraid. I am afraid of the queen. If she finds out I'm having an affair with the king, she'll kill me. Oh. Why didn't be? You do not need to worry about all that. I will take care of them. Okay? Come. Come to my arms. I will take care of everything. I will protect you. Hmm? Oh. My prince. Oh, sit down, man. I am now a father. Yes. I now have a son. My chief. Has consolidated my royalty. What hey! is? Our only has given birth to a son. What is? What is it? 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 Oh, never, never. Oh, okay, then. Hey! Very soon you are eventually going to be the equal of a Tinasa. And you are also the great and the crown prince of our kingdom. Hey! Prince Onusulese has been vindicated. You can say that again. You can say that again. I have been vindicated. Hey! <laughs> so, Nija Wale has eventually given birth to a son. Honestly, you came with a good news. I thank the gods for making my daughter stay in your house stronger. That's by the way, how is the case between you and Urena? I'm like I said, I should. We admit her into my bed. Huh? 
after the expiration of the oath. Huh. Has she fulfilled the rights for such readmission? No, she has not. When I asked her about it, she pretended not to know anything about it. And I asked her to let her parents to confirm and compile the requirements. Huh. It's a lie. She must provide them. She must provide them. And after that, eh, you will give her condition on how to carry on her duties in that house. And you know what? She must no longer give in into infidelity as long as she remains under your roof with you. You're right, my in-law. You're very right. You must draw line between the two wives so that each of them will know their right and limit in that house. My in-law, if my husband can manage me and the co-wives, uh -uh, you can do the same. You may worry now. You can call her. No problem, my in-law. But your guidance and closeness will make me cultivate the tick beat of being the head of polygamy. Okay, for instance, you will approve the deal. I will make sure I uncover all your evil deeds in this kingdom. Mark my words, I will deal with you and make sure you're banished for life from this kingdom. Let me die if I don't strangle you if you threaten me again in that manner. You don't choose! You don't choose! You don't curse! See, let me tell you, if you ever speak out, if you dare open up your mouth and speak out my secret in this kingdom, I will kill you and give your carcass to my vultures at the abattoir at the market. They chose. Now get out of my compound. I said, get out of my compound. Please, love, please, my love. Please. I, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't leave me. I've surrendered my body to you to share with my husband in defiance of the wrath of the gods. Please don't leave me. I don't have anyone to go to me. I'm sorry. Don't leave me, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, please, my love, don't leave me. I'm sorry. My love, now that you're preparing for naming ceremony, what name will you give to your son? What name do you prefer? My in-law, honestly, I do not have any name on my head right now. Hey. Okay. We have to think of a, a name. -o. I don't want that day you appear unprepared. It's okay. I'm ready to accept your suggestion. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. I have three names. Okay. Three beautiful names. Chinonso, Chiemerie, and uh, Chukwebuka. How do you say the name? Chi, chi, chi. Okay, that's nice. That's mm. nice. A good suggestion, though. Good. But when you were trying to suggest for me, a name just occurred to me. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, yeah, share it now. Okay, how do you see this name? Chibogo. That means God has settled the quarrel. Chibogo. Mm -hmm. Hey! Very beautiful. Oh, Makano. Chibo Ogo. Obo Kwariyao. God has settled the quarrel. Beautiful name. Chibo Ogo. Yes. Considering what is happening in your family, God has settled the quarrel. Hi. Thank you so much. You were there, yeah? Eh. Ungwan. Oh, Mali, I am sorry. I am sorry. Um, see, I promise never to threaten you with your past secrets. I'm sorry. Rena, 
you have to sleep over your plot. So you know exactly where your vengeance lies. We have to be very careful. So that we don't kill the ram. Because of the sins of the he goats. Omali, I am getting confused. The reason I wanted to kill Ijawele was for the child not to come forth. But this oath has delayed everything. What do I do? I need you to advise me, Omali. Please. We have to wait until the period of the oath expires. The oath will expire in a few days. So I think this is the right time to strike. Because any mishap that befalls them now will be attributed to the ugly effect of the oath. Which means I am vindicated. We had an earlier agreement. Let us stick to that agreement. We have to wait. We have to wait. I have to go now. Let's go. Please, I want you to drive. You drive. Measures. Oh, my Lindsay. Oh, my When are you ever going to leave married women alone in this kingdom? When? You. So you've gotten the nerves to confront me and question my powers in this kingdom? Are you not afraid of me? Oh, my Lindsay, let me tell you something that you don't know. The day... A great man was born in one kingdom. That same day, another great man is born in another kingdom. Really? Yes! Really? Yes! Really? Are you talking to me? Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh, my Lisa, you better take... Change your life! Change your life! Nemesis will catch up with you one day. I'm going for logging. Nemesis will catch up with you. Stop it. Still, let me spill your blood and feed your flesh to those vultures at that abattoir close to the main market. What are you learning for, from you? What are you talking to me? Oh, my Lizzie, me! I am not afraid of you, oh, my Lizzie. Get away! You're talking to me? Yeah. Oh, sister, you're talking... Come, come! Shameless man! Come! Try this next time. Come on, get out! Challenge me one more time and I'll kill you. Very soon, I will take you to the Queen's land. Mm -hmm. And when we get there, we will look for a garden like this quiet corner. Hmm? Where we will always be. And I'll be singing a song. The first song I will sing when we get to the Queen's land is... Um, Onu neku na mada buro chupo. Onu neku no na mada buro chupo. Makano onye si na nyabuchi. Yame keni foje bulo chupo. Onye si na nyabuchi no. Yame keni foje bulo chupo. Makije no wa si na chia di ma o. Ije no wa si na chia di ma. Ma me ma me ma me ma me. 
Mame. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are dancing to the tune already. Yes, right? your majesty. <laughs> Take another one. Take another one. No, hmm? your majesty, I still have some in my mouth. You still have some? Yes. Oh, freedom everywhere. <laughs> So your majesty, you, you have this. You want to give me? Yes, from me to you. Oh my goodness. Oh! oh. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. This is good with kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, pet oil. The gods of this land will bless our union. Say, he say. He say. Good. And some people will die in their abode. <laughs> and your majesty, mm -hmm. I can't wait to be your wife. I see. And be the queen of this kingdom. And by the time I get pregnant, oh I'll goodness. give you a very strong son. I see. <laughs> that is why I came in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I can see you're enjoying yourself with the king. Yes, so <laughs> very soon I'll become the queen of Atitinansa and I'll have numerous maids following me about. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good dream. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget I choose you for the king. That huh? means you will have to appreciate me. Oh, that. Yes. Say whatever you want and I'll tell my husband, the king, to give it to you. Mm -mm. Say that fast, I mm -mm. don't have time. Unfortunately, the king cannot give me what I want. Only you. Hmm? <laughs> Only you can give me what I want. What do you mean? What is good for the geese is good for the gander. Hmm? I choose you for the king and I can also destroy the relationship. All I need to do is tell the queen that you're seeing the husband. But you cannot do that to me, Chedoga. Yes, I can. Huh? All you need to do is let me huh? test the woman in you. And uh, of course, I, I will keep my mouth sealed. But if you don't, I'm going to tell the queen. Just once cannot kill you. Huh? Or do you want me to tell the queen? It hasn't <laughs> gotten to that. It has gotten to that. Because if you don't give me the opportunity to do that, I will tell the queen. But if you let me, <laughs> I will make my mouth mm, that you come sealed. Huh? So you have an option. Hmm? I'm waiting. Just say yes to this and then we can part ways now, okay? Prince Onosuleze, we congratulate you both for surviving the oath. Your seed will blossom onto the third generation. My advice for you. Do not discard an old rapper because of a new one. Go home and perform equal husband role to your two wives. Urenna, the gods are merciful with you. They want that you go and ask your husband for forgiveness. You will use a ram, a cock, palm wine, cola nut, and two tubers of yam to cleanse your husband for laying false allegations on him. The gods have found him innocent and you shall arrange a survival ceremony. Onosuleze, take back your wife and re-establish bed fellowship with her according to the customs. By the power vested on me, as the spiritual advocate of Amadieke, the gods of Etitinansa, I have spoken.
I still do not know why Urema has refused to perform the customary appeasement ritual as was directed by Abadego. What else? What else if not her usual stubbornness and recalcitrance? Because she feels she's always having your backing whenever issues about her is mentioned. Well, you may be right about my soft spot towards her. But this is not a matter of uh, father and the daughter-in-law. It is a matter of the king and his subject. Uh, who must uphold the tradition of the land. Thank the gods that father is able to see when I say that she treats the family matter with levity and reluctance. Well, whoever that has her interest should tell her that I will not hesitate to excommunicate her from this kingdom if she does not go according to what she was penalized with to market weeks. For the mere fact that she took the family to the jury is a slap on our faces. And I must dish my chastisement on her for such carelessness. She mustn't take our love and care for her for granted. Uh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate this. At least you were able to speak up to my own favor at a time like this. Thank you so much. You. I was actually going to drink somewhere. Why don't you just follow me there? You're too scared. Ah, come on. Are you not tired? Tired of what? How can I be tired of what it is I'm seeing around your body, yeah? Stop. <laughs> okay, so tell me, how is your friend preparing for the cleansing ceremony? She sends her gratitude for you, but she wants you to help her getting some of the items for the ceremony. The items? Oh, oh that. That is not a problem. Come back tomorrow morning. Okay. You know the ceremony has been delayed. If she had other means, she would have hosted without any further planning. So, she said she will be expecting to hear from you soonest to enhance the ceremony on the next market day. Okay, you know what? Tell her to answer a call behind her house at dawn to take a delivery of those items from my emissaries. Thank you so much, my Omali, <laughs> the husband to the less privileged. Stop! How did it go? And this thing is killing me. My husband is waiting for He's you. waiting for you. This thing is killing me. Stop. Stop. I called you to intimate you on a matter that is perturbing my nerves. So, when I know my killing and my shankers matter. We know now. Correct, correct. Urena, she lost her case against her husband, the prince. What? And custom subject her to a cleansing ceremony. But now the items when they need for the matter, and I ain't matter now for the ground. Now I make a call on her. The dropper, the dropper. They said they need a huge ram and some tubers of yam, cola nuts, and palm wine. Now, why I call on her? How on I go take support me? Senior man, you know, get issue. 
Your face so for suicide. <laughs> so I know I believe your mother died. See, before they break, I could provide you with new drum with car with your horn twist. You know my mother now. As long as you don't concern you, I'm ahead you go day. You know now, nah, man don't talk too much. <laughs> I believe. See, Jama, Jama. Na daily thing now. You understand now, you know, na daily thing. You de get me. Na daily thing, now what you de do always. See, you know, say, in my own coordination, failure on a Mr. Far. You de get him now. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. See, <laughs> if na young, eh? If na young, you don't get problem because <laughs> the snake, not the two talk, not the talk, even. But he sees venom. <laughs> you see the yam, the yam matter, eh? Ah, uh, na wa. Forget that one, forget I'm the yam, me good deliver. <laughs> Wait for me tonight now. Wait for me tonight at the deliver. I believe on Amora. Now I call on Abizo who on be Agua, the snake. Alright. No matter. The cola just go on leash and connect with me at midnight. No time. Not in props, not in props at all. Not in props. My man, my man, I got reward with my hands on me. No props, man, no props. Nah, eh. Remember not to allow anybody to take Chigo away from your house to anywhere. People must always cuddle him in the presence of an adult here. Is that clear? My enemy will not sleep until she extinguishes my son's life. But she will die before she carries out her evil plans. Yes. But don't offer suspicion yet until, until she is clearly out of her cocoon. Then you will have reasons to return it. But be careful the way you eat at the ceremony. Um, we are okay? Yes, sir. Come with the round. <coughs> um, are you okay? Um, my friend, do you know it is my big ram that I saw in that occasion? <laughs> uh, I left it in my friend's farm in Ekulovia. <laughs> she must have paid heavily for this. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand, my friends. No, let me make you understand. <laughs> my friend Azodu from Ecolovia has always taken care of all my livestock, from ram to goat to fowls, name them. And he came to collect it, to sell it for me. And I hope that that money will come soon. <laughs> Did you go? Easy. Now we waiting for you at home. A man or a woman? Mr. Azodu is waiting for you at home, Papa. Oh, I told you. Azodu is there to bring my money. I'm sure that is why. Nah, come up here. Oh. How 
much did he pay for it? Mazi, that is a big problem. What some, is the matter? Some criminals are at it again. What happened? They broke into my animal farm last night and made away with that your big ram. Abomination. How can an in-law steal an in-law's property and present it again as a present to him? Mazi, the thing is, it, it was barely midnight when the goat started bleating. And then I heard the increase of noise from the intruder. So I immediately raised an alarm, which awakened people around the neighborhood. In fact, everybody searched to see if they could capture all these thieves. And the thing is that they searched the entire Ecolobia clan, and they couldn't get the ram. They couldn't get my ram! Let me see the prince. Okay, man. Do you know that that ram has been stolen from my livestock in Ecolobia? What? Yes! The poultry farmer, my friend, is in my house as we speak. To tell me that thieves broke into my his farm and stole the ram. That's a sacrilege. An in-law cannot celebrate an in-law with a stolen item. The custom is against it. How now so? What do we do now? It is an abomination. Yes. And the punishment, you know, is self-exile. Or complete total banishment. Total banishment from it, Nasa. Can you do me a favor? No, I'm listening. What I'm about to tell you now is a secret. And please, let it be between us. I do not want another person to hear this. Okay. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. If another person hears it, it is going to tarnish the image of the royal hall. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. But where is my ram? As we speak now, the youths have killed the ram. See, I want us to patch up this development. Else, the image of the family will be damaged. <laughs> I understand. I, I understand, but... Um... <laughs> No, I sincerely need the money for that round. Yes, I, I need the money for that round. I am going to handle it. How do you want to handle it when they're already cooking my round? When I tell you I will handle it, then I will. I've reserved it for my... Each year, I am going to handle it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Surprised? Oh, of course. You must be. Oh, how I thought. You expected it to be the king or his errant boy, Edoga. Greetings, my queen. I know how much you are interested in becoming the next queen of this kingdom. So, out of my benevolence, I thought it wise to bring you some of my royal clothes so that you can wear them at home and learn how to look like royalty. Take it. Oh. <laughs> 
You thought I didn't know you're having an affair with, my, with the king? Oh, you must be underestimating me. Well, I am not here to stop you. There's nothing wrong with um, having a secret lover. At least, you coming to relieve me of the duties of warming the king's bed. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Having a secret lover is also good. But, if I smell your filthy, disgusting, stinking, God-forsaken body anywhere around the palace, I believe you know what will become of your corpse. A beautiful lady, I can't stop having you. You always make my day. That's all you know. To always have the woman in me. You didn't even ask me how the reunion went. Oh, that? So, how did the reunion go? He called for a reconciliation meeting after the reunion ceremony. I think Prince Ono Soleze wants to retain us, his wives, with love and affection. How sincere were his words? Has he shown genuine affection or merely service? My husband loves me and I want to give him back my love with no reservation. What then happens to me? That is why I have come to give you a goodbye souvenir of my body. This relationship is over. Go get a wife. Settle down. Do something meaningful with your life. I am done. I can't do this no more. Omalinze, oh, your chance of retaining Urena is fast slipping off. I must eliminate her husband quickly to have her to myself. If I had helped her repay the prince her dowry, she would have regained maiden status. Today, I cannot have her back because her husband had taken her back following the cleansing and reconciliation process. I need Urena beside me permanently in order to retrieve my dying status. Prince Onusoleze must give way for me to take Urena back. Do something, Omalinze. Do something. I know what to do. But first I have to go and see Kendiri. Yes. I don't know why we are holding this meeting. I already told you it's over between us. How can your husband just forget such prolonged abominable adultery you committed? Just because you donated a stolen ram to him for lunch. Listen, he might just be luring you close and deal with you, think. Did I hear you say stolen ram? 
You shameless thief! So you want me to leave my husband and marry a notorious criminal like you? Never! I will never leave him! I don't want to live in a home surrounded by stolen goods and utensils! Just look at you. I can't imagine how he brainwashed you not to know that he no longer needs you. Listen to me and listen really good. Prince Onusoleze has gotten an heir to his throne. So don't think you can re-establish wifely posterity in that family. Sooner or later, he will throw you away. Prince Onusoleze is way more better than a notorious criminal like you. Murderer! Yes! That is what you are! Nonsense! Yes! That is what you are! Nonsense! Ah! Stop! What is the problem? Do you want to implicate me? What if my husband is coming back and he hears our voices? Can you imagine this promiscuous dog? After I've labored to save her from the wickedness of my husband, she thinks she can jettison me? You! Urenai, Urenai, it's not fair. Eh? How can you uproot, uproot the shop that killed your illness? Don't mind him. He wants me to divorce my husband and pay all allegiance of wifely obligations to him. Now you listen to me and listen very really good. Any day I send for you and you refuse to come and satisfy my urge, listen, that day I will kill you. And I mean everyone I'm talking about now. Watch me do it! She has to fight for this land. She's a bad woman. You run You have to fight for this land. You go on your job. On your door, where what woman you sleep around like dog? What a man should be doing, you are the one doing it to you. I'm making a bumblebee. If I never, if I never. Offspring of Ajofia, the great deity that wages war against evil forces in our kingdom. Why did you abandon your ancestors for too long? Even if they have guided you through your obnoxious operations as a notorious criminal. You never came to pay homage to them or even make a pledge. Why? Ayusu. Ayusu, the hackney eyes of a silent bat. <laughs> that is why I'm here to appease them. Hmm. You don't throw away the child with a dirty water. You beat the child with the right hand, you bring the child back with the left. Speak to me. Speak for ancestors are here. Tell them what you want. My ancestors, I greet you. I greet you all, my fathers. 
but I have a question to ask. When did you learn to give a try salt at the market and turn around to pay the rainmakers to source his route? You may have given me a lot, but you have left me without substantial gift to survive, which is wisdom. Please, I want to settle down as a responsible married man to build my own posterity. That's all I ask. You have to go now and come back in Nessa for market days. Your ancestors left with angry countenance. You have to come back and appease them. You have to appease them. Great work. I'll be back. This is what the king has been enjoying. <sighs> you are so sweet. Um, the chair girl, what else do you want? <laughs> well, um, this affair will continue. Until you finally marry the king. Only then, <laughs> I will let you go. But that was not the agreement. Oh, yes. <laughs> Plans have changed. Completely. But, eh? Don't let anybody know about this. Pretend like nothing happened. But we will. So that when you finally marry the king, then I, I can give up. Huh? Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do about the queen and her threats? What are you going to do about her? No, no. That has been handled, okay? I will make sure that nobody knows anything about this. That's why I said you should keep it secret. Okay? Don't worry. Woman, don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. Help! Oh. Woman, the king has been enjoying. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been craving a goosey soup. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> that 
Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> don't cry, okay? Mm. Don't worry. Mama will breastfeed you soon, okay? Don't cry. <laughs> he wants to sleep. Mm. He wants to sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. My fathers, when did the flutist learn to call a great man whose whereabouts in the distant land is well known to all? You claim to have given me substantial gift of survivor. But you deprived me the gift of knowledge and understanding. Now I loaf around like a spoilt miscreant. If you had given me wisdom, I would have known how to pay more than due homage to you. If you had given me wisdom, I would have known that roguery is a fatal abomination and not a way of livelihood. Now lack of wisdom has deprived me decency and made me a hopeless man in exchange. My mates are becoming grandfathers, but I jump from one man's wife to another like a public he -goat, distributing our blood lineage with reckless abandon. The guests I fathered, the guests I fathered are now of puberty age, and we'll soon be getting married. Are they going to be the prospective wives I am going to marry? All these mishaps in my life are courtesy of lack of wisdom. Please, my ancestors. Ajofia, my keeper. Remember mercy in your wrath. Please. Mouthpiece of Amadeke. I do not understand your position in this situation. Why can't I get a physical verdict? Since I cannot get physical verdict, why then can I not get a spiritual verdict? All my lines habitually desecrate my home. And my father is not saying anything about it. Are you too? You're not saying anything about it as well. I understand how you feel. But the gods are silent. The silence of the gods is like a sheer incompetence. It's Omalinze's mother, Nsalaoku, was raped in her clan, Umudioka. Her parents rejected her and she was banished. She traveled down to Etitinansa. But on getting to Ajofia, she was in labor. So she could not continue. She delivered her child there and dedicated him to Ajofia, the deity of war in Etitinansa. So you see, nobody can raise any judgment against him, no matter his crime without the approval of Ajofia, the god of war. Are you saying that we should allow him to continue in his evil ways because he has proven indestructible? The gods are in a council of jury over the atrocities that he has committed in this kingdom for years. If he is found guilty, then his own actions will put him into trouble. Hold your peace, my prince, for the gods are with you. I also a dreaded killer of our time. I greet you. I still keep you in high reverence. If I stop coming to your shrine in search of her, 
in my right hand neither. Your Majesty, what do you want this time? Do you want mystical power or diplomatic power? I use it. But the sound of a drum is suspended on air with high tunes. There is need to ask from which trees your drum was made. So many seasons ago, I was here in search of hell. In turn, you prepared a charm that made me win the heart of the queen. The efficacy of that charm is no longer powerful, or so it seems. Your Majesty, you stop coming to pay homage to the great deity. So what do you expect? Apologies. That is why I am here. I want Prince Ondo Solaze dead. Because I am not his real father. If he continue to live, I will lose the throne. Then who will succeed you when you join your ancestors? Well, I have this young girl, Wadinobi, that I want to marry. And I am hopeful that she will bear me a son who will be my successor eventually. Hmm. I will consult the gods. The majesty is always coming with a difficult task. Dagidre, I bully. We are not trying, God. We are not to God. We are not Your Majesty, you bring forth your nail and a human head. That is what we use to arise the spirit of thunder that we use to strike him and he will be no more. And after that, you will come back. We will take a decision about the throne of a titi nansa and such decision shall stand. Aye. Aye, thank you. Hello, But I want you to save me the stress of buying the items. Peace is better than war. The harmony that has returned in our lives is the best thing that has happened in this family.
you'll be able to figure out that a rank of evil is the happiest one ever. Just as the sky is too big for two birds to clash, so is this home too big to contain us all. Don't get to see with us and join us in our dream. What do you think? Your biological father will always say be selective of persons you share your secret Look, not everyone is as mature as you think. Some are mature, good, but on surface level. They can be trustworthy. On a very good weather. Your choice when it comes to secret share should be with persons very sure you can keep to your promises, even in the face of circumstance. Mother, what has trust and secrets got to do with this simple English? What do you think about who renders sort of change? Secrets worth so much about him. That is what makes God who he is. He reveals his secrets only to those that believe, trust, and are close to him. I want you to do likewise, my son. Be careful. All right. Well spoken. Simply wants to buy your trust again so that you can share your secret with her. It could be dangerous if you do so. Look, nobody changes. We only evolve. Change is about things that unite. Am I going to get all these items for His Majesty? For just new woman head? I need one area. The eye of the gods. Mm -hmm. That's the only solution. I will tell you then now that the gods needs vo three virtuous nails to cure her son of his madness. Then on my lens there, most provide human head to appease his ancestors. That's what the gods have said. I am the only one that sees the gods and hear from them. 
who is there to question me? Whatever I say, so shall it be. <coughs> Oh, you need to come. I need to try. I need to. Can I help? Can I help with the financial? Will I have fun them? Oh, Tom. Surprised and confused at the same time. You don't need to. You don't need to. I suspect evil intentions from her. I mean, come to think of it, she has gotten an air. I would do anything to make you sunless. It is her witchcraft from birth that made her deaf and dumb. You have a point. Exactly. She is responsible for your womb drainage. Otherwise, why were you not experiencing this before she came under this same roof with you? Hmm? She... I can't believe she's this evil. It is her witchcraft that made her to marry your husband. Mm -hmm. So that she can be in control of him. Urena, think. Open your eyes. Your recent relationship with this dumb woman poses threat to your welfare in this family. I can't fold my arms. I can't watch this girl destroy my home. This is the second bloodbath since my readmission to my husband, after the cleansing rite. What other proof do you need to confirm that Awele is evil? Eh? You gave birth naturally without any problem. 
Why now? I'm asking you, why now? Rena, think. Think before it's too late. Your ancestors had a harsh message for you. A task that will challenge your courage. I also. What do they want me to do? You must surrender the head of a close confidant. The responsibility of doing that lies on you. But the result is overwhelming. You have two market weeks to do that. Is there no other way or clue to help me? I mean, any other option? I've asked all those questions and they insisted that's the only way. But Ayusu, how can a repentant killer seeking for reformation and forgiveness of a criminal life turn around to kill a close confidant and surrender the head to appease the the same gods who abandoned him because of his evil lifestyle. Two wrongs do not make right. You are marked for death. And you need another person to replace you so that you can live. Delay could be dangerous. And the consequences of non-compliance is death. You must do something fast to melt the anger of your ancestors. The weight of the demand and its consequences lies on me. But I still have to think about it. You have two market weeks. Any time more than that is late. Two market weeks. <laughs> Let me ask you, if a toddler crawled to bite your anus without regard for feces, what will be your reaction? <laughs> if I'm to retaliate, I will bite at his head without regard for his brain. Good. I cannot condole this dumb wife any longer. No wonder the gods seized her tongue. <laughs> Else, she would have been more deadly. Urena, it is only a tree that stands when it is planned to be hacked down. Do not be like a tree. You have to do something. I want to see Omanize in your house as soon as his convenience permits. If possible, tomorrow morning. Tell him it's urgent. You must leave fickle mindedness to take absolute decision to effect any plan. Okay? Don't worry. I will see you immediately. Just now listen, both of you. It is time for us to tighten our security. Henceforth, do not accept any food from our women. Do not go errands for her outside this compound. Do not babysit Chibuahu, nor release any of our belongings to her. Yes, ma'am. No more familiarity. Did you hear me? I just said no more familiarity. We need to be watchful before someone take my goodness for granted and render me sunless. But mommy. 
What if the small boy crawls to us as you always do? Then crawl him back to them. Tell them I sent you on an errand. Have I made myself clear? Good. Your house is on fire. You need to be man enough to quench the fire. I will not come again, except you are either defeated or victorious. Mouthpiece of Amadeke. What will I do to avert or contend your men? Just be a man. Amaleke was here. Yes, I saw her on my way coming here. I hope there is no problem. What did she come to, to do? She came to warn me to be a man. She said I should give a love a shot up for her. So I'll be able to quench the oncoming fire in my household. That revelation is not clear, and you will agree with me. I think you have to go to see her in her shrine. Yes. So that she will make proper divinations that will help you get clearer view of what her revelation is all about. Don't you think so? Why do you you stop coming whenever I ask you to. Are you now avoiding me? Don't tell me that all these little boys, village boys, want to take you away from me. Igwe, I am scared. Scared about what? I think someone has been telling the queen about us. What? She warned me. She warned me to stay away from you. I, I am so scared. The queen said that to you? Yes. How did she know about us? Who must have told her about us? I don't know. She threatened to kill me if, if she ever sees me anywhere around you. And I don't want to die, Grape. I, I am so scared. Oh, come off it. Uh, nothing is going to happen to you. I will give you full protection. Okay? What I am asking for is to give me another chance to experience the woman in you. And I promise you, I am going to make you the queen and chase that old woman away from my kingdom. Whatever the light touches is for you to control. You will be in charge. 
of my kingdom. Smile. Oh, that is it. <laughs> you see, come to my arms. Just a little bit of comfort. Oh, I see. You see why I crave for you? You have my dentition. And I love your dimples. <laughs> you see? What well, is you if not? <laughs> so come. Uh, let's go. Just a little time. Uh, you will like it. As you always like it. <laughs> Stand up. Let's go. Oh, Mali. You know there's nothing about me that I've ever hidden from you. Even the gods will not allow me to do so. Please. I need your help. I'm sorry I'm a hundred you the other day. Anything you want me to do for you, just ask and I will do it. I know how you fight when you believe in a cause. That's exactly how I want you to fight for me and save me from this mess. Hey, Jenkins, Bunk Bill, your request is pending. Go straight to the point. I want Awele dead. For two consecutive times since my reunion with my husband, I have suffered womb drainage and all fingers point at her. Awele wants me dead, but I want to eliminate her before she kills me. Please, my love, I want you to do this for me. Please. Your ancestors have a harsh message for you. A task that will challenge your courage. Ayosu, what do they want me to do? You must surrender the head of a close confidant. The responsibility of doing that lies on you. But the result is overwhelming. You have two market weeks to do that. Is there no other way or clue to help me? I mean, any other option? I've asked all those questions and they insisted that's the only way. But are you so? How can a repentant killer, seeking for reformation and forgiveness of a criminal life, turn around to kill a close confidant and surrender the head to appease the, the same gods who abandoned him because of his evil lifestyle? Two wrongs do not make right. You are marked for death. And you need another person to replace you so that you can live. Delay could be dangerous. And the consequences of non-compliance is death. You must do something fast to melt the anger of your ancestors. The weight of the demand and its consequences lies on me. But I still have to think about it. You have two market weeks. Any time more than that is late. Two market weeks. My ancestors are caring. They have offered me yet another opportunity to crumb back to substance in a titinansa. Thank the gods for behold is the head of a close confidant on a platter of good. Ma 
Please, my love. Don't abandon me this way. Now that I've seen it, I think I know what to do. So what do you want us to strike? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yes. Mind you, I'm not going to come for this operation. This is best known to me. I send my boys. And I hope you instruct your boys to make no mistakes. Don't worry about that. Right behind you. Second to my house this morning. Oh. And what was your discussion? He has started perfecting the plans to discharge the assignment. That's good. You know that man can be so dubious. So you need to put your eyes on him to make sure he keeps to his promises. It is very important. You don't have to worry. Don't worry, okay? Trust me. Listen, I am very sure that after tonight, you will return to the position of the only weapon of I just can't I know wait. What? Wait, I'm still talking. Okay. And you will anticipate for a worthy air from the ghost. <laughs> so chill. I got your back. Okay? Mm. Don't worry yourself. Just laugh it out. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Don't mind this. This witch. I just can't wait. At least this witch will have to leave my husband for me. You must not You must not You must not My love, who got you pregnant? My love, you speak to me. Who got you pregnant? Eh? I don't know what you 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 when did you become so promiscuous that you cannot tell who got you pregnant? <laughs> eh? What's your name? Oh, you have now become Kesaya. Only in Arabia, no one And what knows it? I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. Oh, please. Who got you pregnant? Who got you pregnant? Who got you Is how pregnant pregnant are you? I want to know. I'm not going to be able to get you. I'm not going to be able to get you. I'm not going to be able to get you. I'm not going to be able to get you. I'm not going to be able to get you. I'm not going to be able to get you. I'm not going to be able to get you. I'm not going to be able to get you. Jama, I leave this mission for you to execute. Agwo, you're the most smart and crafty of all reptiles. Go and unleash. Kill every threat of a shadow, even if it's your own mother. But why? I say, but why, Jama? You don't know any problem. You don't know problem, Jama. We could deliver. Don't be so. Take a man, be careful. Man, be careful. Take a man, be careful. Any obstacle for the way we come out, do our waiting no good. Seppo. Jama. Seppo. Muna. Ma comes. Ben. Any body when come on, we muna do our waiting no good. Una puta for the abort you go to. Okay. 
Gods of our ancestors. We borrow new. I can't wait. I can't wait for you. Man, I wanna have a new one. The cow without tail depends on the gods to swat flies off its back. May whosoever that wants to eliminate any member of your family receive shades under the soil. Your family is guided by the gods. Just do as I said. Thank you, the more peace of Amadike. You may now go, my prince. The gods will reveal to you both your seen and unseen enemies. Ajie! Damanze! Ogene! Ajashio Guaba! Ajashio Guaba! Ajashio Guaba! Eyi bu eyi! Ajie! Damanze! Ogene, a jashio guaba, a jashio guaba, ofenja, a patoi, damanze. Fine. Why are you always giving people news in brief? Can't you give me the details? Oh, Sister Demma, I said it went fine. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. But can you just, you know, even if it is headline, I want to know what uh, Abaleke said. Tell me, I'm your friend. Coward. Huh? That is what you are. I told you to escort me to Abaleke's abode. You said you were scared. That you cannot go there with me. Now you want to know what she told me. See, I, it's not like I am. See, I, I am not a coward. I am not scared at all. It's just that I know my own level of safety. Amadia Ke, the gods of it is in that area. Your children have gathered here today to thank you for your love and your protection. And we ask whoever that wants to kill us shall die. Let's eat. Daddy. Why did stepmother take baby away on an occasion like this? Don't worry yourself, let me come back to you, okay? We went to receive some treatments, some convulsion treatments from grandmother. We'll be back to her, okay? <coughs> Please, my husband, pour more wine for me. <laughs> You and your sister will go back to your room. Huh? Your mother will sleep in my room today.
the cloud is dark Sparks everywhere Something is fishy Things are not going right Because of your atrocity Something bad is going on Woman, I finally care co wife. How can you say that? Didn't you notice that Oma Lindsay has been out of sight for some time? Eh? Yes, I noticed it. So, wait, are you suggesting it is him? I am not suggesting anything. No, I am not suggesting anything. See, use your brain. Use your brain. You may be right, but you know, this is too deadly. He might have killed her because she went back to her husband. Why? I don't know, Sha. I'll think about it. But for now, I'm going to the palace. Sha, you're going to your market. Yes, no, I'm telling you. Yes. That land belongs to me. I share a boundary between Isiocha and Okoye. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yes. No, no, you cannot do anything except. This is Where is that awful? Yes. Where's the old man? Eh? Hold on, hold on. Are you other? Yes. Good. The parcel, the package. I'm to you. What are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. Eh! Don't just give me that look. Don't pretend that you don't know why we are here because looking at what Nobi here, you know exactly why I'm here. Yes! Why did Nobi, my daughter, is pregnant for you and you must marry her? How? Okay, now. How pregnant for me? How? You're asking me how? No. Okay, you don't know how. Okay, when you sleep with a woman, she will get pregnant. You sleep the time she's pregnant for you. No, no, absolute lies. <laughs> lies of the greatest orders. No! I mean, I just tested the woman in her twice. Hey! And the way has been swimming in and out of her like the old Mambala River. Hey! Yeah, it's not true. Just tell me it's not true. Did you hear him? Did you hear him? Why am I so Did you hear him? I'm sorry, please. You are sorry? No, you are sorry. So you mean this two fools? Igwe and what do you Has been going in and out. I have to attend to something. Ah, no, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You must marry her. I said. He married his wife. Don't get angry. Come and see me finish. And you, come here. Come here. Look at this woman. What's wrong with you? Are you? Are you? And you call me a woman. You want a woman? Got you pregnant. Speak now, speak now. Who are they got you pregnant? I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. I will put you before. My king. My king.
There's a problem. Some people are rather than Prince House. And his wife is dead. Her body is missing. What? Get for has finally arrived. Yes, my daughter here is pregnant. With me. What? Well, I will explain. Why are you not coming? I told her, I tried to. Oh, will you shut up, you shameless man? My Prince, I and my friends, we have come to sympathize with you over your late wife, Aweli. Please, accept our condolences. Aweli! Aweli! The same man who accompanied the spirits to kill Urena has accompanied the living to bury her. Omalinze led a gang of killers to assassinate Urena, and now, now he has come to mourn her with us. What am I seeing? The doll speaks? Honestly speaking, the gods of our land has become more predictable. My friends, at one point, one of your wives is missing. Now, Awele the Dom has regained her speech. What do we call this? of Etitinanta for today will mark the end of evil machination in this kingdom. Even Igwe and Ibueze is not innocent. My elders, I greet you. People of Etitinanta, I would like to make a very sensitive revelation. But before then, I would like Inkem Dirim to be brought here. Azuka! Nay! Get the youth and go get Inkem Dirim to this place immediately. Okay, Nay.
Moses. And if Ezra. Ibe. No, wait, wait, wait. Don't do this. Ibe. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm okay. When I realized that the trust that was coming from Mother Soleza was obvious that he would take the throne from me, I was scared. I bet I also. I said I would confess. Wait, I will confess. I also gave me the charm that I applied and got married to you. Uh -huh. ah. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted on the death. I wanted on the death by Omus. But he proved indestructible. So. I have to devise another means. That's how I got entangled with my Dinobi with the hope that she would give me a stand. In order to deprive all the soldiers of the throne. Adibese, how could you be so cruel and stupid? Have you forgotten you swore an oath to me before Amadieke? That you will surrender the throne to, to uh, uh, the Soleza, my son. I also really believe that he will neutralize and nullify the oath. I am sorry. <gasps> I killed my own brother. <gasps> because I wanted the throne. By obvious. I wanted on the selected bed with every means necessary. I am sorry. Sent here by the others in council to bring you along with us immediately. For what? If you get there, you ask them yourself. What did I do? Wait, wait, my husband is not right. Uh, my okay. husband is not right. Let's go. you have to say people of Etitinansa ah! it's all happened Awele I want to thank you so much I want to thank you immensely for everything okay hmm? I pray that the gods of our land our years will protect and guide you forever it is well with us my husband and our prosperity is guaranteed and also unto our children. Good. 
See, I want you to do me a favor. A favor? Please tell me anything. I would want you to find as a dumb when you enter my kingdom. A dumb? You mean not being able to talk or, or, or to respond to people when they greet or even insult me? Why? That will help you monitor the idiosyncrasies of my people and also make you the most prosperous woman in a Titinanza. I don't understand you. So how are we going to communicate? We always communicate by sign language. Or you talk slowly into my ears whenever we're on bed. Or you talk on a low tone when we're always together. This... This is too tasking. It really is. I have never done this before. I don't even know how... Okay, what if people find out that I am not dumb? Wouldn't they consider me an imposter? Okay, let me explain to you now. I am not asking you to be dumb forever, no. But this is going to help you. You see, you will discover that the world will be a better place if women were created to be dumb and men created to have evil in their hearts whenever they are exposed. Please, give this a trial and you will not regret it. It's for good. Well, you are my husband, so I am willing to do anything to please you. I will. And I'm willing to do anything to please you. So I will. I am a slave in my kingdom. Okay, now here's their plan. The plan on creating a hole on the door to peep and know how you stay with me or get a monitoring device to monitor how we stay together. The reason she sent her kids to her mother always is because of her man friend, Oma Lindsay. See? Okay. Would you have known the mind of the people around you if you had come here, Lucasius? My husband. I'm happy to have obeyed you. You're welcome. So, for you everywhere. I wish the dog can hear and speak. But I guess the gods know why they were created without speech. And what happened? Your wife. Your wife, Rena. She is planning with Omar Lindsay to assassinate me. What did I do? She told Omar Lindsay that if he doesn't take charge of the plot and kill me, that she will expose all his evil deeds. What did I do wrong? The only thing I did 
was to marry the man that I love. So what did I do? It's okay. You are going to be fine, okay? Um, my dear, just keep the good spirit, okay? Keep up with the good spirit, okay? We are getting close to explosion point. A day shall come when we teach people that the silence of a dog is not unto stupidity. Okay? Just keep this good spirit. But when exactly do I begin to talk? Because I am I am getting tired of this whole thing. Don't worry. One day we shall bust into tongues to stop blackmail in Etitinanza. Okay? I promise to not disappoint you, my husband. I know you will not disappoint me. before you return. Oh, my love, come on. Don't say that, okay? I have many appointments to catch up. No, you're not going anywhere. You will not leave me in this house to be with Rena Spray. What kind of a man are you? Eh? You will put me in this dilemma and just and just leave me here alone? You want to leave me here with Urena? You want to leave me in this house with everyone throwing stones at both of us? No, no, no. You won't go my anywhere. Love, my love, listen. Listen to me. Listen. Believe me, not will happen to you, okay? Just allow me go. No. No. Look, as your wife, you are under a curfew placed by me. You will not go anywhere. You will not leave this house. The only time you can leave here is after you're here with Serena. You won't go. Trust me, not to happen to you, okay? I have to go. Now. No, no. No.
your wife is actually playing the rehearsed dumb wife role very well. Yes, you're right. You're right. But well, there is a situation here. Situation? What situation? The parents will be coming to visit anytime soon. Is she, is she due for delivery? The father said that he'll be coming to convey the same pattern over the whole taking process. I understand. I understand. So how do I tell them that their daughter is dumb? My prince, any problem that arises must always arise when it must have taken permission from the solution. Yes. Let me tell you something. My husband, when are you going to let me loosen in my mouth? What do you want to say? You know, Ren and her kids are different now. The house is peaceful, everyone is living in harmony, and you know, I just I just feel like I can talk now. Awele. Awele, don't be naive. Okay? I paid your bride price. And I paid for your speech. It's not time to talk. When the time comes, you talk. But for now, I insist you don't have anything to say. My husband, why are you doing this? Hmm? Why are you tormenting me this way? Awale, if you obedience to my words have always put on the right track, then this is not the time to disobey me. Okay? When the time comes, you talk. But for now, do not say anything. You talk. If there is anything to say. The situation in my house now is so beautiful. Urunenan shows an act of marvelous. Yes, I mean, she acts as if she's walking to give death to all of us. Thanks be to the gods. And also to the Lord of the world. If she can continue like that, then we are going to go to her. I only pray that she continue with that woman as the mother of the house, mother her, guarding her cheeks in the real right. But there's something. I, I wonder if my wife believes it's time I allow her let's lose now. But I don't think it's time. I don't think if she has something to say now. From your testimony about how you have to I think it is time you let to lose her mouth. She is not going to be held together. I insist. I insist. I doubt if she has something to say. I mean, not now. Thank you. 
Did you not see her like earlier before now? I did. Is there a problem? Why didn't you ask to know before now? Because I'm sure if her mission was meant for women's ears, you would have told me. She came with the bad news. She came to tell me that my household is on fire. That I should do anything to fight it. And to avoid it. Since her visit, I've been trying to understand the mission to enable me to stand on my feet courageously. So, what do we do now? Okay, henceforth, okay. I want you to be alert. Mm -hmm. Okay? Do not let Chibo out of your sight. Put your eyes on the ground to monitor everything going on in this place. And remember, do not let yourself to be provoked to talk out there. I okay. promise. I will not disappoint you. And don't worry. The gods will definitely protect the upright. Hmm? It's okay. I want you to send for your sister and she will go back to you. Okay? So I can concentrate her and contain all the sense attack when it comes. Okay, okay. So what do I tell my father when he queries your actions? Just do not worry yourself, my love. Okay? Do not worry yourself. Oh, okay. First thing tomorrow morning, I will send for Namaka. Hmm? I want to go and appease the girls to save us from this shaft of evil unjustifiably aim at us I cannot fold my arms and watch the woman I married hired an assassin to murder my family no it will not happen You've heard uh, I will speak. Is she correct? And you came to him. You've also heard her speak. Do you have anything in defense to what she has said? So, Omalize, you have finally implicated me in this your tragedy. Despite of my surrender to you, giving you my body to share. What, what did I commit to, to warrant this, this humiliation to my husband and the ancestors? I am innocent. I am innocent of what happened to my friend. I did not kill her. Please, people of Etiti Nasa, do not kill a ram because of a crime of the hill goats. Shut up! Let me! Why am I here? Why did you not betray him when you discovered the evil plot against our land? <laughs> I was scared to die. You know the consequences of his rot if you argue his plans. But had you done the obvious property consequences and you were bold enough, you would have saved my daughter's life. You are wicked. I couldn't do anything. Not, not Zeribed, the hunter. Him with a basket of stolen yarn. He butchered and dumped his body dream. Not isn't it? Who resisted? 
the reason we are here. What do you want? So, Urena, you did not have a single true friendship in this world. This is so unbelievable. Friendship betrayed. It's friendship denied. Friendship without risk. It's friendship not merited. Omalinze, the head does not dispatch another and leave. And the gods have found you guilty and have asked that you accompany Urena to wherever you may have kept her. As for your cohorts, let the same snake that beat Urena smash them with its venom. Azuka! It's a lie. Let the able bodied youths take them to Afia Daka, the land of skulls. There they will be stoned to death. Let this sound as a note of warning to everyone in Etitinanza. The evil plants of Igwe and Ibueze also got to the gods against him whom the gods have ordained. And the gods have given the directives that he abdicates the throne, either dead or alive. Let everyone in a sitting answer refrain from his evil ways because one day Nemesis will catch up with them all. Sparks everywhere. Something is fishy. Things are not going right because of your atrocity. Something bad is going on. Oh, 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 oh. A cloud is dark, smokes everywhere. If an if an I cannot stand this. Shame and humiliation that I have put myself into. Oh, I want to join my ancestors. I want to join my ancestors. Where what woman? You 
Do you know his, when I was betting him, mm. eh? See the way he was <laughs> laughing. <laughs> laughing. Ah. What is it? Please, mommy. Forgive our late mother on our behalf. Please do not transfer the aggression on us. Do not punish us because of the evil things she has done to you. Please. We have no mother, except you please have mercy on us, so that she can rest in peace. My babies, I have always seen you both as part of me. And look, I promise. I promise to take care of you girls like my own. Please get up. You have made me a fulfilled mother of two daughters and a son. Come, stand up, please. Get up. Behold our king! Today marks a new dawn in our kingdom. My experience might be short. Task so new. I thank you all for your solid support and loyalty. With togetherness, we shall make it the kingdom. Envy of all, including our neighboring communities. If I reincarnate again, I must come from it in answer. And you, my mother. Hmm, my kid there. So shall it be. Hmm, His Royal Majesty, King Onu Soleze of Etiti Anasa Kingdom. I am very proud of you, my son. And so shall it be. Igwe! The cloud is dark. Sparks everywhere. Something is fishy. Things are not going right because of your atrocity. Something bad is going on. Oh, oh, oh. The cloud is dark. She's a bad woman. 